Hello, my name is Denise Hardy and I'm the Nurse Advisor for the Lymphedema Support Network. One of the most common questions I'm asked in the lymphedema clinic is, what exactly is lymphedema? In order to help answer the question, I say it helps to have an understanding of our lymphatic system, what it is and how it works. Most people have never heard about it until it goes wrong. The lymphatic system forms part of our immune system, with lymph nodes or glands helping to deal with infection. But it is also responsible for cleansing the tissues and maintaining a balance of fluids in the body. I liken it to a waste disposal system, transporting lymph containing fluid, bacteria, proteins and waste products away from the tissues through at least one lymph node in one direction towards the neck, where it drains back into the large veins just behind the collarbone. From here, it goes back to the heart and is eventually removed from the body as urine through the kidneys. Lymphedema develops when there is a problem with this waste disposal system. Either the plumbing, the lymph vessels or nodes have not developed as they should before birth, known as primary lymphedema, or they've been damaged or overloaded, for example by surgery or infection, which is known as secondary lymphedema. Whatever the underlying cause, if the lymph is not draining away, it will accumulate in the tissues and cause a buildup of fluid, or a swelling, known as lymphedema. Lymphedema can, therefore, be defined as an abnormal accumulation of protein-rich fluid in the tissues. Lymphedema can affect anyone at risk, man, woman or child, and it may affect any part of the body, including the head, neck, breast or genitals, but it is most commonly seen in an arm or a leg. Although it is thought to be relatively uncommon, a recent study has estimated that at least 240,000 people in the UK may be affected. Initially, lymphedema may be very mild and appear to come and go, worse perhaps in hot weather or as the day progresses and then reduces again overnight. However, if it is left untreated, the swelling over time becomes more permanent. It doesn't subside overnight and the area will begin to feel increasingly hard and solid due to the buildup of protein as well as fluid in the tissues. The affected area will become heavier. The skin tight and limb function, posture and gait may be affected as time progresses. Sadly, when the lymphatic system is damaged, it currently cannot be repaired. Most of the underlying causes are irreversible and as such, lymphedema becomes a lifelong chronic condition with no known cure available. However, treatment can be successfully implemented to help reduce the swelling and keep it to a minimum, which in most cases dramatically improves quality of life, especially in the early stages. So it is vital that referral to a lymphedema clinic is sought as soon as problems present. If you don't know where your clinic is, contact the LSN who will be able to put you in touch with your nearest clinic. With appropriate information and the help and the support of the lymphedema practitioner and the LSN, there is much more that patients can do to help themselves in the successful management and control of their condition. Remember, if you would like to learn more about lymphedema, the LSN website contains some great information. Or why not become a member of the LSN and help us to help you and others to live well with lymphedema?